Hey guys, it's Alyssa the Recipe Critic and today we are creating banana bread bars. My four-year-old little girl is obsessed with bananas. We are buying so many that sometimes some of them go overripe. But don't you dare throw away those overripe bananas because we are creating the perfect recipe to use them in today. Let's get cooking. We will need one and a half cup of sugar, one and a half cup sour cream, a half a cup of butter, two eggs, three to four ripe bananas. I use about four. Two teaspoon vanilla extract, two cup all-purpose flour, one teaspoon baking soda, three quarters teaspoon salt, and then a half a cup of chopped walnuts or pecans, whichever you prefer. To make the brown butter frosting, we are gonna use a half a cup of butter, four cups of powdered sugar, one and a half teaspoon vanilla, and then three tablespoons of milk. We are gonna start by preheating our oven to 375. Using a nine by 13 pan, we're gonna grease and flour. For the bars, we are gonna combine in a large bowl the sugar, sour cream, butter, and eggs, and we are going to beat that until it's creamy. We're gonna fold in the bananas and the vanilla extract. Then we'll add the flour, baking soda, salt, and continue to stir that for one minute. And then add in the chopped walnuts or pecans. Spread the batter evenly into the pan, and we are gonna bake that for 20 to 25 minutes until they are golden brown. Then we are gonna make the brown butter frosting. We are gonna heat the butter in a large saucepan until it starts bubbling and boiling and it starts becoming frothy and turns brown in color. And then we will remove that from the stove and then add in the rest of our ingredients. We're slowly gonna add the powdered sugar, vanilla, and milk. And we're gonna continue to beat that until it is smooth and creamy and ready to spread on top of our amazing bars. After we frost our bars, I love to add some chopped pecans or walnuts to the top for the finishing touch. You guys, these smell like heaven and they taste even better. My favorite part about these bars is the brown butter frosting. It is the secret magical ingredient that takes these bars to the next level and they won't last long in your house. For the full written recipe, visit therecipecritic.com. I'm Melissa, the Recipe Critic, and remember, the reason we create is to share with those we love.